so in this in this course we are mostly looking at the some namapadams some forms of namapadams not all the nam all kinds of namapadam and some forms of kriyapadam and here as you see this namapadams are all ending in aswara they are all ending in aswara Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Akaranta means... Ah, Namaskaram. So, Akaranta means uh, ending in a sound. Ekaranta means ending in e sound. Mm-hmm. So, I talk about this, how do they... What does that mean? Uh, ending e, e sound ending means... As you see here, Balaka ha, for example, it is... The ending sound is not a, uh, it is a ha. Right? It is uh, Sarga. Sarga is there. Sarga is there. But the Pratipadikam, uh, uh, I, I think I don't have to explain again unless anybody has a question about what is Pratipadikam. Okay. No, no, we know that Pratipadikam. Yeah, Pratipadikam is the base word. So for Balaka, the Pratipadikam, Pratipadikam is Balaka. Okay. Balaka. Mm-hmm. Balaka. So this Balaka. So this, Hmm. So, akaranta means a sound is coming out of, at the end of this pratipadikam. So, we yes. always talk yes. about yeah, ekaranta, these are all the ending of pratipadikam. Okay. What the, the form which is given here is the prathama uh, vakti, ekavachanam, divachanam and bhavachanam for all the words here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, kavi, we have kavi as the pratipadikam. without the visarga and ukaranta we have guru as uh, guru without visarga is pratipatikam u ending ru is pita is pitru pita pita is pitru mm-hmm. ru pitru yeah ru, ru ending and balika ru, is same matihi is mati ee karanta nadi is there is no change in the pratipatikam and prathama vibhakti here same and ukaranta dhenuhu vadhuhu mata vanam vari and vastu so you should be all familiar with this first mm-hmm. uh, one thing that uh, <coughs> that we ha- i have talked about this uh, adding pratyas to pratipadikam okay? adding pratyas to pra- pratipadikam so so when add pratipadikam Pratipadikam plus Pratyaya. Okay. This becomes Namapadam. Mm-hmm. Namapadam. This you have seen. And Pratyaya means what? This is suffix. Okay. Mm-hmm. And to Pratipadikam, what kind of Pratyayas are added? What is the family of Pratyayas called? It is called? Family of Pratyayas is called? Sup. So, sub family of pratyas mm-hmm. sub family of pratyas so how many sub uh, pratyas are there 21 mm-hmm. 21 sub 21. pratyas are there 21 sub pratyas so now the other day uh, sorry hold on like uh, 21 sub pratyas are there each sub pratya each one of them each one of those 21 supratya they correspond to uh, one vibhakti and one vachana so pratama vibhakti dvitya vibhakti and tritya vibhakti and so on up to saptami vibhakti and ek vachana dvi vachana and bah vachana so for for each of these there is a pratya pratya so 7 into 23 So there are seven, seven uh, rows and three columns, seven into 23, that is 21 sub-pratyas. So the total together they are called sub-pratyas, sub-family. Mm-hmm. Why, are they called, why are they called sub-pratyas? Because the first one here, I don't uh, remember the end, all of the sub-pratyas, the first one here start with su. Su, first one is su. 
and the last one is actually so yeah. okay. so the first word is so first letter is so in this all the family the hanta and the second one i remember so au and the third one is just so i would just stop them this like that it goes stop them this like that like that there are, so there are these these are like these suffixes you know they sound like code words so how just and the last one is so so the first one starting at so the last one is ending at per so the that is why the from it is like a shortcut to refer to refer to this to refer to refer to this whole family uh the entire family the this is uh, referred to as sup because the first one start with two last one ends with pa okay. now the the other question was like okay the first one is so yeah i want to uh, i want to mute um uh, okay so i hope you can hear me so whenever you want to talk please press star 6 on your phone so that you can unmute yourself and you can talk if you have question and if i have question and if i if i want to ask you i can unmute you so there was a question the first for example the first of the pratyas is su pratyaya first of the pratyas is su pratyaya um first pratyaya su pratyaya and but the balaka is a pratipadikam let's say balaka is a pratipadikam so this is su pratyaya is for prathama vibhakti ekavachanam prathama vibhakti ekavachanam so balaka plus su is a pratyaya right? pratyaya means suffix so if you want to derive the prathama vibhakti ekavachana form of balaka then we have to add the su pratyaya to it so the question was why is it not balaka su how does it become balaka we all know that the prathama vibhakti ekavachanam form of balaka word is balaka not balaka su so to remember that the pratyas are like the original pratyas are like they are uh, coded they are like code words they are not in the final form so depending on to what kind of pratipadikam they are attached so there is a different there are they undergo different uh, process um, different steps based on the grammar rules uh, they are all provided in different grammar books like uh, starting from panini panini sutrani so depending on the pratipadikam whether it is e ending i ending u ending ru ending depending on that the process is different so depending on that this will change its form and finally it, it becomes like visarga for balakah but if it is pitru which is ru ending ru ending the same pratyaya the original pratyaya is same only there is no change in uh, sup pratyayas so again to get the prathama vibhakti ekavachana form we add su pratyaya original pratyaya but again because it is ru ending it undergoes different uh, changes as per the rules and then as per the sutras and then the prathama vibhakti ekavachana becomes pita is that clear any question here no no question no no question. so so this should be clear so you should not be confused we are saying supratyas and why are they becoming balakah some of them becoming balakah in ekavachanam some of them become kavihi the pita is become uh, pitru is become pita why is it not pita hmm? um, balika also balika for balika the ప్రాతిపదికం ఇస్ బాలిక ఓన్లీ బట్ ఇన్ ప్రథమ ప్రథమ విభక్తి ఏకవచనం ఆల్సో బాలిక ఓన్లీ దిర్ ఇస్ నో 
visarga comes there no, no change but su is also added there don't think that su is not added here uh, to balika pratipati binga also su is added but because it is akaranta stilinga it undergoes some processes as per the sutras and then the final form for pratham vyakti ek vachana turns out to be balika only so this su is su is hidden there okay? so mm-hmm. pratyas is hidden mm-hmm. Uh, okay so we'll move ahead so we all did this exercise lajja ha netrani to understand this was like a mini 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 quiz trying to mute again there is uh, some disturbance somewhere good evening mahade i don't know i heard the sound so i i, I kind of uh, disconnected and connected huh? again with a different phone so i don't know it's i don't think it's coming from me if you want i can uh, disconnect and uh, see if it is coming from no me. no do not disconnect don't disconnect i think it was there before also before you joined okay okay i thought it's something coming from my cell phone so i disconnected and connected can you mute mine maybe mine is causing the problem sir kumar because i'm using a phone i'm also on the phone maybe mine i don't know keep the phone away no, no, who is on the internet who is on the internet i am oh. on the internet mahoda as it are on the internet but i am using my I'm internet too i am on mute so everybody mute and then it should not have a problem Uh, yeah i think surya kumar is the problem i can you yeah thanks sir i can see the sound sound coming from some yeah surya kumar yeah all right hmm okay so so we went through this different because i don't want to meet all of you because you may be having some questions in between so we cannot yeah the, that is much better now we went through that and then we also looked at these aham avam vayam tvam yuvam yuyam bhavan bhavanta bhavanta bhavati bhavatya bhavatya so these are sarva nama padani or uh, pronouns aham avam vayam <coughs> what are these like uh, what is aham means what tam sume bye Uh, singular dual plural then tvam yuvam yuyam yu and the dual again yuvam and yuyam uh, plural okay, in yu <coughs> and aham the aham avam yuyam tvam yuvam yuyam in all three lingas uh, they are same so that is ullinga uh, naponsaka linga or uh feeling aham and tam avam yuvam and vayam yuvam doesn't change and bhavan bhavanto bhavantah bhavati bhavatya bhavatya the change uh, because bhavan bhavanto bhavantah this is a pullinga form pullinga. these is this uh, these are also nama pad uh, sarva nama padani only these these are also sarva nama padan bhavan and uh, <clears throat> what is the pratipadikam of these bhav प्रातिपदिकोदय Hmm? Okay, okay. What is the question? Nothing, no. Sorry. Hmm. Bhavat is the pratipadikam, and this pratipadikam for both uh, both the words for this pullinga word also and silinga word also, bhavat uh, is the pratipadikam okay? for both of them. But in when we when it is used in pullinga form, 
uh, in pullinga it it is the, it takes this form bhavat patipatikam only but it takes this form bhavan bhavanto bhavantaha in pratama vyakti ekavachanam divachanam bhavachanam but if it is used in sri lingam bhavat patipatikam eva uh, etad rupani swikaroti like bhavati bhavatyo bhavatyah in pratama vyakti ekavachana divachanam bhavachane Uh, so bhavan means what what is bhavan and bhavati you with respect ha yeah, you with respect so either we can use tvam or bhavan both the meanings are same but bhavan is used where we want to show some respect like for elders uh, or maybe strangers the same thing with bhavati if the other person is female then use bhavati bhavati uh, we'll use the kriya padam with this later but you all you already know the basic like uh, bhavatah nama kim bhavatyah nama kim uh, that's oh. where we started so they yeah. are also pa- they are also the uh, shashti bhakti of these शब्दाज ओनली षष्ठी भक्ति इज इन पुलिंग षष्ठी भक्ति बट भवत्यालिंग षष्ठी भक्ति नौ सो यू नो दातिपदीक ऑफ दीज टू वर्ड्स नौ भवत्तिपदीक वाट अबउट दिसपदीक ऑफ दिस अहम आवाम प्रातिपदीक of aham shabd this is pratama bhakti which means i and we too and we this is other this is asmad shabd asmad asmad sorry asmad asmad ha asmad shabd ha and tvam is asmad shabd this is yushmad yushmad this is just for your reference so when you come across when you are <coughs> reading or memorizing now uh, they give this on the top pratipadikam uh, asmad shabdah trishulingeshu samana roopani uh, in all three lingas uh, same forms uh, and similarly yushmad shabda trishulingeshu samana roopani same uh, forms uh, from so you on you we have to know that's all <laughs> what the pratipadikam Mm. yeah this one i mean like all the pratipadi comes we we have to i mean like memorize them you know hmm? yeah i mean when you are memorizing the words then on the top mm. it will be there because yeah, will, when yeah. you when you when you start memorizing you have to first say akaranta pullinga rama shabda ha rama shabda yeah, yeah. um, itself indicates the pratipadi similarly mm. when you are memorizing this aham dakaranta uh, uh, sarvanama सर्वनाम दकारांत सर्वनाम अस्मद शब्द दकारांत सर्वनाम युष्मद शब्द तकारांत पुल्लिंग पुल्लिंग भवत शब्द देन इट बिकम भवान तकारांत स्त्रीलिंग भवत शब्द इट बिकम भवती भवत भवत तकारांत देन we did so this some um, exercises there then moving on moving on uh, oh, i am trying to uh, we are trying to the next lesson or today's lesson actually uh, we are trying to get into uh, dhat uh, kriya padam because we saw many nouns and just by knowing the nouns we can't actually use them in our everyday you know, usage practice so we have to know the kriya padams mm-hmm. so that's why i am moving on to the kriya padams first one for at least to, to know one form of kriya padam rather than doing all the forms of nama padams first so we have seen the prathama vibhakti forms of some of the uh, nama padam so 
we know we are ready with that now now we just have to add the kriya padam to it to make it a complete sentence no? hmm. for example balakah okay balakah so now we want to say balakah uh, boy eat. run uh, or reads or runs so how are we going to say that so for that we need to know kriya padam so for from this noun one form prathama vibhakti we are moving on to one form of kriya padam at least so at least we start making some simple sentences then we can move on to different forms of nouns nouns and different forms of kriya padams so then we can start combining them in different forms so in different uh, senses <coughs> different meanings so uh in prathama vibhakti ekavachanam divachanam and bahuvachanam we have seen the forms of like palaka guru kavi petru and in sri linga we have seen this uh, sita rama ba- balika and uh, or agat matihi dhenu vadhuhu and naposukalinga we have seen uh, vanam uh, phalam vastu akshi asthi etc <coughs> so we are, we have fairly you know fair knowledge of lot of uh, nama padams now now dhatu no kriya padam getting into kriya padam uh, like nama padam nama padam the base word is called pratipadikam pratipadikam and for uh, kriya padam the base word is called dhatu 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 this word is called dhatu so for dhatu also we add pratyaya to yeah. get kriya padam okay? to get kriya padam kriya padam to get kriya padam okay? so these pratyayas are called what are these called thing pratyayas thing thing pratyayas i am writing it on the screen thing pratyayas so similar to the sub pratyayas this thing pratyay is also family the first one in sub pratyay starts with two the last one ends in p so but here thing similarly the first one start with t t and the last one ends with ng 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 So, uh, the supratya how many supratyas are there mm, 3 3 21 so no so supratya so oh supratya is 9 uh, 12 no supratya 21 21 21 21 hmm the person thing is 18 let's say 18 okay uh, thing is uh, lakara right no thing is not lakara that thing is pratyay okay thing is pratyay but um, it goes with the lakaras yes um so for all the lakaras they are the again same thing pratyay is added same pratyay is added so each one okay each now coming to kriya padam um, we know that there are prathama purusha these are purusha right they are there are prathama purusha madhyama purusha the uttama purusha uttama purusha hmm. and again there are ekavachana divachana and bahuvachana bahuvachana ek vachana divachana hmm. so just like we have a table for nama padams there are seven rows and three columns total 21 similarly for each kriya padam it uh, gets into this this table 3 by 3 so nice so prathama purusha madhyam purusha uttam purusha ek dvi bahu nine of them hmm? nine 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 hmm. 
So for each of these, the, there is one pratyaya from, thing, from the family of thing pratyayas. Okay? For each of these. Okay? So first one starts with T. Saha. Hmm? Mm. Saha. Creed. Creed. <laughs> 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 No, no, me is for the Uttam Purusha. Yeah. No, it's me. Oh, me is for the Uttam Purusha. Okay. Hmm. Uh, some books, they give the reverse uh, older books. Now the, because of that in English uh, grammar, so according to that, they make this as first person. So they, they come at the top. So that may be the confusion there. Okay. So, but this okay. is the actual, the right way in Sanskrit. Uh, Pratama Purusha, Adhyam Purusha, Uttam Purusha. So Pratama Purusha, we use this uh, purusha for while while we are referring to he, she, it, hmm? and this one madhyam purusha we are uh, you. you, and this for I, I, we. or we, or we to or we, hmm? for depending on the vachanam. Now, uh, Hoda, you said there. Yeah, right? no, got it, got it. I mean nine. Um, but now thing is only eight, 18 you said but thing is only nine no more right? thing is uh, 18 because um, the there are two types of uh, actually two types of dhatus no, two types of dhatus one is parasmai padi the atmai padi and ubhay padi also is there parasmai padi parasmai mm-hmm. Atmai Padin and Ubhaya Padin. Ubhaya Padin. Ubhaya Padin. Ubhaya Padin. Ubhaya Padin. Ubhaya Padin. So for each of these, the, there are nine different Pratyas. For this there is nine, for this there is nine. Okay. So that's why it is 18. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so the... Ubhaya Padin. Hmm? So can count, count to Ubayapadi because it can go to Atmapadi or as Parasmaipadi. So you should not. Yeah. Right. So some uh, some Dhatus are Parasmaipadin, some uh, Dhatus are Atmapadin, and some Dhatus take both the forms. They are, they are called Ubayapadin. So. Uh, so, uh, initially, right now, we are going to look at some of the dhatus which are parasmai padin, okay? only parasmai padin. Uh, actually, you, many of you already know some of the dhatus which are parasmai padin, some of them are atmai padin. For example, uh, parasmai padin dhatus are gam dhatu, which takes the form gachati gachata gachanti. Okay? Yeah? Gachati in some some forms, okay? and then uh, similarly you the famous vandhati 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 so this is the atmane padi and this is parasmai padi so we'll we'll look into this uh, different forms of these atmane padi later and parasmai padi also later but initially in the this lesson or the next lesson, few lessons we are going to focus only on Prasmai Padi Dhatus. Okay? Prasmai Padi. Uh, now, about and what we are going to look at first, you should be clear. Like we are going to look at first, uh, what is this? Vartamana Kala. Hmm? We are going to look at Vartamana Kala of the Kriyapadam. Yeah. As you know, uh, or probably you know, there are ten Lakaras. Yeah. 
then lakaras <coughs> lakaras are connected to uh, dhatus okay? so 10 lakaras and each lakara you know these different lakaras may mean different tenses like present past future or also they may imperative mean the uh, senses like the imperative or the uh, uh, vidhiling etc vidhiling hmm. so, but right now our lesson focuses on only vartamana kala vartamana kala which is present tense and it is the uh, it is a latlakar 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 so we are going to first do latlakara of uh, parasmai padidhatos this is the our prakaranam today parasmai padi <coughs> all right so let's go back to um, so we saw this uh, dhatu means what dhatu means the base root. of the kriya padam or the root of the kriya padam and uh, we saw this what is prasna padi atmane padi and ubhaya padi na and we saw lakara means what you know and purusha yeah. means you know pratham purusha and madhyam purusha yeah madhyam hmm. and vachanani there are three ekavachanam divachanam hmm. three ni vachanani hmm. ekavachanam divachanam and bahuvachanam but this one probably uh, many of you may or may not know this dashaganah and each dhatu eh, i mean all the dhatus are divided into 10 ganas each dhatu belongs to one gana this is again a group okay? group of dha- uh, dhatus why they are divided into 10 ganas we'll see it at some later later stage so okay? 10 ganas and out of those uh, do any does anybody remember from the last monday session uh, how many dhatus are there approximately 2000 no 2000 2000 2000 but 2000 dhatus are there so mm-hmm. all of these are they were divided into or categorized into 10 different groups dashagana uh, and this is a very important concept going forward like right? no the first out of those each uh, gana prathama gana ditya gana we can they can be referred to them the ganas like prathama gana ditya gana also like that dashama gana but uh, actually panini himself has given these ganas so uh, within that we have the first dhatu in each gana and that gana, gana is referred to with that dhatu also for example the first gana prathama gana starts with bhu dhatu bhu bhavati so the first gana ha bhavati only the gana the dhatu is bhu uh, so that this gana is referred to as bhwadi gana bhwadi bhwadi means bhu bhu plus adi bhu plus adi hmm. adi means etc yeah means starting from like adi means so on so on bhu so on bhu etc so starting from bhu there are many dhatus in this prathama gana so it is called prathama gana or bhwadi gana similarly there are other names for we are not going to see all the names today but the important thing is out of this 2000 more than 1000 dhatus are in prathama gana which makes it easy for us to memorize actually the pratham gana is the simple one simple one uh, compared to all other uh, ganas yeah. all the forms are simpler ones so more than half of them half of 2000 they belong to this first gana then <coughs> so today we are going to see some dhatus from uh, sorry uh, representative dhatus from first gana then fourth gana 
and sixth gana and tenth gana. Okay. These are simple ones. One, four, six, ten. Pratham gana, chaturtha gana, shastha gana and dasham gana. Shastha gana and dasham gana. So these are the simpler ones. So we are going to start with that first. So uh, let's, we don't have to spend time on this. So here we go. The first one, Lat Lakare. We already know what is Lat Lakare. Huh? Lat Lakare means? Present. 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 So we'll start with Vartamana. Uh, and in all the lakaras, uh-huh. there is only one. There is only one vartamana kala. Uh, one lakara which indicates vartamana kala. For both kala, there are two lakaras, and for bhavishat kala, there are two lakaras. But in for vartamana, one lakara called lat lakara. Uh, this is, I have indicated the gana here, first gana, which is called bhadi gana, bhu, etc. bhadi gana, and pa pa means parasmaipadi. This is just for our reference. Uh, this is like uh, its address, uh, Tatu's address. First gana, bhadi, its name of the gana, and parasmaipadi, Tatu. Uh, so we are going to first focus and study Latlakara and Parasmai Padid Hathos only. Uh, and that too, Gana number 1, 4, 6, 10. These are about 80% of the Hathos belong to these four Ganas, uh, or more than that probably. Uh, and so that these are very widely used in practice. And to know these forms, it is important and good for us that uh, forms of all these four ganas are similar. Uh, so, uh, can anybody read the screen, please? What is on the screen? Bhavati, Bhavataha, Bhavanti. And uh, this one, the Madhyama Purusha, it should be Tom Yuvam Yuyam, no? Oh, yeah, yeah. Last time also, the, I have not changed it. I'll change it. Okay. No, that is, uh, uh, Mahoda is checking whether we are paying attention. That's why he wrote it. <laughs> yep, you're right. <laughs> strategy, Mahoda. It shows the interest. How smart you are. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, tell me, tell me. I'll correct it later. Bhavati, Bhavata, Bhavanti. Yes, okay, I agree. Somebody like Nagesh Modi or somebody was trying to say Bhavati, Bhavata, Bhavanti. In what case we can use that? Hmm. So now, uh, can you use uh, Nama Padam you know and these Kriya Padams with, for example, let's say Balaka. Hmm. Can you use that Balaka Ekavachanam Divachanam Bhavachanam with this Bhavati Bhavata Bhavanti? Yes, Maha. Rama Bhavati. Hmm? Balaka Bhavati. Ah, Rama. Hmm. Ramaha Bhavati, Ramao Bhavataha, Rama Bhavanti. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you should be knowing that the Nama Padams we have seen, most of them, except that Ham and Tom, all others, <coughs> with, with those, if we want to use uh, Vartamana Kala, then we have to use these forms. Okay? Bhavati, Bhavataha, Bhavanti. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Like example, Saha also. Saha Bhavati, Sa Bhavati, Tat Bhavati, 
तौ ते गुरु बहुवचन फॉर्म ऑफ गुरु वॉट इज बहुवचन फॉर्म पठा दिवचन द्विवचन फॉर्म्स ऑफ गुरु एक वचन द्विवचन बहुवचन गुरु गुरु गुरव गुरव प्रवक बवंती गुरु गुरु बहुवचन विल बी गुरु ओनली प्रवक बहुवचन नो नो व्हाट गोज विथ भवते गुरु 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 भवती गुरु गुरु भवतः गुरुवीजन फॉर मेमोरइजिंग गुरु गुरु गुरव सेम वेदर इट इज फुलिंग बिकॉज दीज रिमेबर क्रियापदम दे डू नॉट हेव लिंगम सो वेदर इट इज गुरु और वेदर इट इज गुरु इज फुलिंग वी यूज गुरु भवती भवती वेदर इट इज अ स्त्री लिंग और नपोसिंग लिंग ऑल्सो यूज भवती भवती ओनली फॉर एक्सापल इफ यू यूज फलम Okay. Uh, Hello. Who else is there? Let me see. Who else is there? Uh, Chandramohan, do you want to take it? Phalam. 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 Hmm. Phalam. Bhavati. Hmm. Phale. Bhavataha. Ah, Phale. Bhavataha. Hmm. Phalani. 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 Good. Okay. Phalam. Phavat. भवती फले भवतः फलानि भवन्ति ओके एंड विथ स्त्रीलिंग शब्द नदी धेनु हो हां धेनु हो धेनु हो भवती धेनु भवतः धेनवः भवन्ति भवन्ति स्त्रीलिंग नपोसलिंग सेम प्रथम पुष और मध्यम पुष उत्तम पुष मध्यम पुष ऑब्वियली उत्तम पुष देट लिंग अहम देसो डू नाट हेव लिंग अहम But when you are using Pratama Purusha, it doesn't matter whether the Nama Padam is Pulinga, Srilinga, or Eka, sorry, Naposka Lingam. But we use the Pratama Purusha form of the Tato. <coughs> okay. So another example of this Pratama Gana Dhatu. Before moving on to the next uh, exa- next Gana. We will use another example which belongs to this dhatu, gam dhatu. Gam, gam dhatu also comes in the pratham gane and parasmai padi. 
ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ಸ್ ತತ್ ಫಲಂ ತಾನಿ ಫಲಾನಿ ಕೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ we are doing no, multiple that times in unnecessarily no that is correct perfectly right oh, okay. because if you want to say tat phalam as bhavati means that, that that is the fruit tat phalam bhavati te phale bhavataha those two are the fruits those two are the fruits tani phalani bhavanti tani phalani bhavanti yeah okay yeah thank you so similarly here if you want to use uh, gam dhatu gam dhatu in uh, lat lakara we we already know this forms which is gachati gachataha gachanti hmm? so why am i highlighting this t in yellow is that because before that uh, these these are the suffixes these are the pratyayas these are the thing pratyayas but again like sup also there is a process there are steps uh, to arrive at these forms uh, the the raw the original pratyaya forms are different uh, but when we attach them to dhatus as per the gana of dhatu and as per the lakara they, there are steps involved to arrive at the final form so these are the final forms you see here ati tah anti and si tha tha me vah mah these are the final forms which need to be used for this first gana dhatus and in latlakar in present tense in vartamana kala okay so given this we should be good to go with gam dhatu gam dhatu actually there is another uh, gum is a special one it there is another rule for that for the first part it becomes gacha okay. <coughs> gacha so after gacha you can add these suffixes ti ta hmm. the same thing again hmm. gachati gachata gachanti hmm. gachati gachata gachanti hmm. then gachasi gachataha gachata gachami gachavaha gachamaha yeah all right uh so again aham gachami uh, uh, aham gachami yes yeah now we can use aham gachami hmm? or aham uh, sorry avam if there are aham gachavaha Two of us, can we use Avam? Vayam? Vayam Gachamaha. Vayam Gachamaha. Okay, so anybody else, uh, is there... Uh, uh, hold on the... Uh, Naveen Mode? Naveen? Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you do the second one with Gacha? Yeah. Uh, Tom, Tom, Tom means you. Tom means you. and um actually this should be you am you are you am 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 gachati you am gachatha and you am gachatha gachat Right. So first one is correct. The first one you said, Tvam Gachasi, that means you go, you are going. Right? You go means not, is not ordering. Not, it doesn't mean you are going. It means you are going. Okay. But the second one, say it again. You am? You am Gachatha. No, no. Gachatha, right? No. Gachatha. 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 Ah. Gachatha. Hmm? Gachatha. ಗಚ್ಛ 
because of this visarga that visarga sound as visarga is sounded like uh, 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 uh. and the last one uh-huh. and you yam and if it is like other person third person then we use pratham purusha okay? like for example uh, uh, who wants to do kavihi hmm. kavihi what's what's my name yeah sah kavihi tau kavi te kavaya but with the gachati uh, with the kriyapadam sah gachati ಸಮೀಚೀನ <laughs> now now you know that uh, with tom you use bhavasi right mm-hmm. or gachasi and Gachata. you am you am you use gachataha and uh, you am gachataha mm-hmm. what does it mean you you too you all uh, no no gachasi uh, you gachasi means what you 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 are, are going, going right? Mm. you two are going you all are going okay going. now let's see what is the speciality of this uh, the the nama pad sarva nama padam we saw bhavan yeah. what does bhavan mean bhavan mahode asya what do you have person you know bhavan ಭಗವಾನ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೋಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕಂ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕಂ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಭವಾನ್ ಭವಂತೌ ಭವಂತ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ವನಾಮ ಪದಂ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದಂ ಭವತಿ ಹೂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಭವತಿ ಭವತ ಭವಂತಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಧಾತು ಭೂ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಕಾಲ ರೂಪಂ ರೂಪಿ ಭವತಿ ಭವಸಿ ಭವತ ಭವಾನಿ ಭವಾಮ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭವಾನ್ ಭವಂತ ಇಸ್ ಅರ್ವನಾಮ ಪದಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೌನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದಂ and it means in the respectable way you mm-hmm. if it is mm-hmm. male bhavan is you one you mm-hmm. and there are two yous and many yous you two is there a male yeah. mm. and, and you many mm. okay thank you uh bhavati similarly you only but for if it is female bhavatya also uh, you too you if it is female and many if there are many of you many people are there you if you want to say many female you if you want to address them then bhavatya bhavati bhavatya bhavatya now now how are you going to com- how are you going to combine this 
with the Kriyapadams. Bhagavan. Uh, we all know Bhagavan Gachati. Silence those alarms. Bhagavan Gachati. Bhagavan Gachati. Bhavanto Gachataha. Bhavantaha. Gachanti. Hmm. But Bhavan means remember it is you. Okay? Right. Bhavan means you. So Bhavan Gachasi. No, so that oh. is the uh, that, that is the like a uh, speciality, yeah, like of Bhavan. Bhavan for that we use uh, Gachati also. Yeah. Not also, only Gachati only. Oh, Gachati only. Mm. Mm. Um, um, um. Bhavan Gachati. Yeah. Bhavan. So that Bhavan. Uh, bhavati, they are used in Pratama Purusha, so even though the meanings are you. Okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay? So, for all the, all the Lakaras, in all the Lakaras, when we are using Bhavan, Bhavati, then we have to use the Pratama Purusha only, not Madhyama Purusha, though the meaning <coughs> is you. Mahodaya, can we say this Bhavan, I mean, Bhavan is like Aap in Hindi, when you say Aap, Aap. Right, right, right. So can we understand it like that? People who know Hindi, they say, Aap aye. You cannot yeah. say, Aap ao. You know, that is... Right, right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are some uh, some languages like that where they, for respect, they, they use a different word. Tau bani valva. Tau is the correct word for Aap. Tau. In Kannada, Tau. Yeah, uh, yeah. We don't have to get into those which is with languages. <coughs> yeah, ta- you can use tau. <laughs> right. Yeah. Satama bhavati. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, satama uh, satama purusha. Uh, we have to use bhavati. Gachati. Okay. So let's uh, wrap up this one with the examples of bhavan, bhavanta, bhavantaha. And Bhavati, Bhavatyo, Bhavatyaha. Bhavatyaha. Bhavatyaha or Bhavatyaha. Sorry, not, ba- not Bhavatyaha. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. So, let's use Gachati. Ka asti, Lakshmi Bhagini asti. Ah, Mahade. Um, ah. So, Can um, you use bha- Bhavan with uh, Bhavan and the three vachanam? And the Gachati three vachanam. Sure. Um, Bhavan Gachati, Bhavan Tau Gachatau, Bhavan Gachanti. Can you say it again? First one is what? Bhavan? Bhavan Gachati. That is correct. Bhavan Tau Gachatau. Can you see the slide? Sorry? Can you see the slide? Yeah. Yeah, so what is the second one? Oh, Gachataha. 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 Bhavantau, Gachataha. Then Bhavan, um, Bhavanti. No. Uh, no. Yeah, Bhavanti. Gachanti. No, no, no. 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 Uh, and, yeah, don't get don't confuse with the, that Namapada and Kriyapan. They look similar here. <laughs> yeah, we are confused with them. Bhavantaka Gachanti. Bhavantaha. Bhavantaha. Bhavantaha Gachanti, yes. Bhavantaha Gachanti, yes. Bhavantaha Okay. Okay. Uh, Next one, anybody, uh, Nagesh Mada, you want to do? Uh, Bhavati, with Bhavati, Gachati gach, 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 on again. Gach. Bhavati, Gachati, Gachasi. Bha, Bhavati, Gachasi. Hmm. The second, I don't know. Bhavatyo. Like Nadi, like Nadi only. Nadi. Nadi. Okay. Bhavatyo. You can also say yeah, Nadi only. Bhavati Gachatha. Bhavati Gachatha. 
No, no, what is the Devachanam of Nadi? That is Nadi. Avadhyav. ಗಚ್ಛತಃ ನೌನ್ <laughs> So you can also say Bhavan Bhavati. Bhavan Bhavati means you are there. Bhavan Bhavati. Right? Yes. You can use Bhavati also. Bhavan Bhavati or Bhavati Bhavati. Bhavati Bhavati. Yes, female. Yeah, Bhavati Bhavati. That first Bhavati is the uh, Noun. you. Noun. Yeah. You, female. Second is Bhavati. Hmm. All right. Uh, you can start here. Unless you have any question. Uh, from the last class just one question over there i mean it, you could derive um nama padam from uh, um, dhatu plus prachaya but 